Hello, everyone. This is Melissa from Grandma's Homestead Haven. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to build an awning over my laundry room door. The way my roof is pitched, the rain pours off my roof, and that is right where my door is. So I need an awning. I also ordered my awning larger than my door because I want it to cover my outdoor light. Also, when the rain comes off the roof, it actually hits my outdoor light, and I do not want that to happen. So I ordered my awning at 66 inches wide. It covers a 36 inch door plus the light. And then I ordered it 42 inches deep. And the reason I ordered it that deep is because I have an exterior glass door that swings out. I need to make sure that when that door swings out, it does not hit my awning. So if you have a door like that on the outside of your house, you will need to order a minimum of a 42 inch deep awning. All right, guys. So let's get started. So the awning I chose was the new image awning. I ordered it off Amazon and here's the link if you would like to look for one for your door. I ordered the 1100 series, which means that the side panels of the awning are open. They do have one with the side panels also, okay? So this is the box that your awning will come in. Everything you need is included in this box. This is all of the items that are included in the box. You will have to get your own tools to assemble the awning. Okay, so I want to give you another view of how to slide these panels together. Remember we have a curled edge here. And a curled edge on this way. This curl goes this direction. This curl goes this direction. They're the opposites. All you're going to do is line up this curled with this one. You're just going to slide them like that. Super easy. Sliding them into each other. Let's see? Let's do the last one. Gonna slide them in together. And there we go. So now all of our panels are connected and slid together. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get out my pliers and we're gonna crimp it right here where it joins at each panel to the next panel. Make sure that they're perfectly flat. And we're going to crimp that closed. So let me see if I can get down and show it to you. Okay. So you see right there where the two panels are joined? We're going to put our pliers in there and crimp that closed. Okay. And we're going to do each of these seams all the way up. So let me get the pliers. Okay, so I got the camera in place, and right there is where the two panels join. I have my pliers underneath that seam, and all we're going to do is we are going to crimp it closed, okay? So I want to make sure that they're perfectly lined up. Put the pliers in. And then I'm going to crimp it like that. Okay, so now look at that. It's perfectly locked down. Do you see that? Now it's not going to come apart. So we're going to do that on every seam on both ends. Okay. Thank you. 
All right, guys. So I want to show you how it looks so far. I have the side pieces slid on. And see the holes? You got to match the holes up. There's holes here and holes drilled in this part. You line up the holes and then you'll put the screw in there, okay? So, I lined up the hole on that end. So I still gotta put another screw there. Gotta put another screw here. Another screw there. So all you're going to do is take these really small screws right here and you're going to screw them in, line up the holes, and then screw them in right there. Okay? So let me finish screwing all those corners in. All right. So this is what the end of the screw looks like. You have to have a special bit for that, okay? Oh no. Okay. Put it in the hole and screw it down. Okay. So let's do this side over here. All right, guys, so now that I have all of the framing around the outside, now we have to put on our two braces that go in the underside of our canopy. So they have these braces. Now they have some pre-drilled holes in them, and then there is some pre-drilled holes in this frame, and you're just going to line them up and screw them together, okay? So let me put both of these braces on and then I'll meet you back here. All right, so let's talk about these clips. So these clips, this part right here is going to go under the tin like that. You see that? So everywhere that we had to join two panels together, we are going to slide that under that ridge, okay? And then this clip part is actually going to lock into this bar. So that bar has that channel. You see that? So let's do it. Let me show you how it looks. Okay. So there is the ridge. This is two panels that I'm joining together. And then I'm going to slide it over and put it on to that. There you go. Just like that. And it's going to lock it all together.
All right, so the next thing we have to do is put our arms on. These are pre-drilled. I'm just gonna slide right over there. And we will match the holes up just like that. And then we will put a screw in it. So let me go do the other side. go so now we're ready to hang it all we have to do now is hang that bar back there that goes on the house so this bar I need to mount to the house this flat part is the top of the bar so it actually gets mounted like that so that goes into the house. This is the top. This ridge in here is where we lift up our awning and place it in there and then drop it down. Okay? So let me hang this bar on the house. All right. So the first thing I did is I measured my 66 inches. Our, our mounting bar that they send is the exact same length as the width of your awning. Okay, so my awning is 66 inches wide. So I found the center of 66 inches, which is 33 inches, and I marked where that center uh, line would be on my house. I put a little dot with a marker. I also put my bar six inches above the trim on the door. That way I had plenty of clearance to raise and lower my awning as I needed so that I could open that screen door. All right, so I mounted it six inches above the door. And what I did first is I pre-drilled a hole for the center screw. The screws that they give you to mount your awning are dull. The tips of them are very dull. They are not going to screw into your house. They're not like a really sharp wood screw. So you have to pre-drill. So what I did is I pre-drilled this center hole Okay, the 33 inches right in the middle, six inches above the door, drilled a hole, and then I screwed in the very first screw. Okay, so now I can teeter-totter it, right? So I have a magnetic level, and I put it right in the middle, and then I level the bar, and then I use my ladder and I move along to each of those pre-drilled holes in the uh, metal. I mark it on the house. Then I pre-drill all of those holes. Then I take the screws that they gave us and then I screw it into the house. Making sure as I screw each screw that I am leveling it to make sure that it's still perfect, okay? All right, so now that I have the mounting bar mounted onto my house, now I had to position the ladder at a distance that I could still lift this awning that's 66 inches wide and 42 inches deep which is quite large for me to lift I'm only five foot three I can't lift very large items but this is aluminum so it's not super heavy 
So what I did is I carefully lifted it up and then I walked up the ladder and I positioned it on to that mounting bar. What you have to do is you have to lift it up, slide it into the bar in the back, and then drop it down and it locks into place, okay? All right, so once I had the awning lifted up and locked into the mounting bar, the next thing I did before I screwed the arms onto the wall of my home is I got a large long level and I sat it right there on the very front of the awning. Okay, and I made sure that I adjusted my side arms so that my door could open and not hit my awning. And then also that my awning is level across the front. So you need to have a long level to do that. You'll put it up there and you'll just look at that little bubble and make sure it's right in the middle. And then adjust your arms. Once you adjust the arms, then you will mark the holes and pre-drill the holes into the house and then you will use the screws that they provide because like I said the screws that they give us are very dull and you cannot directly drill those screws into your siding okay all right guys so as you can see I have mounted my awning onto the top of my laundry room door so now I don't need to worry about getting flooded when the rain pours down. Well I just want to say thanks for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel.